was. So the speed was good in the boat, and uh, now the decision is to try to survive a little bit. That's almost impossible. So I think we should uh, probably in a short time and try to come back left as soon as possible. So but, Ricardo, he's not real comfortable here. I mean, he's looking straight at the tailpipe of the boat ahead of him. He doesn't like it. It's far enough away. He, wa he wants out of there. Neroni, that would be, uh, who's Neroni again? That's Paul. You're like, what do you think, Paul? Well, uh, that's going to be a close situation coming up here with Twins and Ramrod. And um, so I'm probably just sailing optimal here. I don't think I have a lot to give up. In other words, I can't bear off and build a lot of speed at Twins. I got to pretty much sail optimal VMG here because I need every inch I can get. And Twins, I think the mark, we're almost on the ley line, so Twins is definitely going to attack on me or in front of me. Yeah. And this is the stack up. I mean, who can survive here on starboard is going to get around the mark first. So our, our uh, three, three tacticians, I guess you guys have decided you're going to take a hitch out. No, we're going to wait until those last two boats, make sure those other two boats tack. That's what you'd, you'd like to wait. Yeah, I'd like to wait and kind of look ahead and see if we can get these other two guys to tack. All right, so let's see what, let's play this a little bit in real time. Can we zoom in one? Well, twins just fouled out there, so now I'm cleaning first, no problem there. That, that was obvious. Terry, uh, did you foul? Nope, negative. <laughs> you're you're on board or you're in the, the lunch box. Speculator. I can't think of any fouls that I've been in this summer. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> let's play it. Stop, please. You guys are cheating. You Do you have a monitor under there and you're playing this race and... And, and you, you knew what they were going to... What's up with that? Nice going, Timo. Well, you always got to kind of look ahead. That's kind of the secret here with this, that many boats. Pretty interesting, isn't it? That they, sitting here, they've never seen the race, and they were able to predict exactly what the boat needed to do to survive that situation. That was pretty cool. In other words, the, the tactical analysis, granted they have three people on board, pretty high horsepower guys, but then Terry... I mean, you look at Paul, he's just been totally laid back and, and just riding. And Terry's fouling everybody again. One thing you got to notice here on this, and I think we can't look at the whole beat, but if you look right here, you see the Norwegian Steam's course? It's diverging from these other guys, okay? So what's going on probably on the whole beat is the wind's gone left. And that's what's making this group the lead.